Welcome to the Mars Orbital Experience VR mission. You are now on Mars and have to explore and do scientific experiments before you will be allowed to be brought home. As you can see here, there is a list that is clearly given to do your experiments. And if you were wondering if you really are on Mars, you can see from the floating of this ball that the gravity is really a third of Earth's. And before you go outside, you have to go through this pesky little airlock. Once outside, you can begin your mission by turning the lights on for the drill and then getting drilling for rocks, which will later be able to be used to discover new elements that are available on Mars and not here on our home planet of Earth. Once the drill has started to pick up rocks, they are transported inside where you're able to place them onto a scanner and determine how much the rock weighs and what type of rock it is. After finding out what type of rock it is, we're able to sort them into these different types of bins. These rocks are then added to the total mass on our rocket ship vehicle, which will be used to launch the rockets back to Earth. Unfortunately, our scanner is not very advanced and can only scan one rock at a time. And our bins do not get very happy if you sort the rocks into the wrong container. After collecting a series of samples, you're able to go outside and launch the rocket back into space. Five, four, three, two, one. And lift off. Besides just looking for rocks though, you can also look for signs of water and life on Mars. So here we have a hammer that you're able to use to take out all of your frustrations in the world on a nice block of ice that has been found near the landing site. After a few hits on the ice, little chunks start to fall out and you're able to pick them up and take them back to the Mars laboratory. Once back in the lab, you can place the ice under a microscope to see what it contains and discover that we have life on Mars. Now that we've made our big scientific breakthrough though, we need to call back to Earth. And so we should go and calibrate our communications tower because it has been knocked out of calibration by a dust storm. After calibrating the tower, it's time to sit back, relax, enjoy the view, and of course get to the best activity, eating. You have been provided multiple vacuum sealed food packs, which can be hydrated using the hydration station and then eaten after cutting them open with a pair of scissors. We have some wonderful uh, meatballs, pizza, and other delicious delicacies for your consumption here on Mars. Unfortunately, this VR does not include food as part of the experience. But once you have finished eating a wonderful lunch, you can go and have some fun exploring Mars with your very own rover, and even searching out some of the previous missions that NASA has taken to Mars. So after grabbing the control stick, you're able to just start driving around Mars and explore your way around the red planet. Just be careful though, because with less gravity than Earth, it is very likely to tip over the rover as you drive it and fly off of the different dunes of the Mars surface. So first we have a interesting rock formation. Next, the Opportunity Rover, the InSight Lander, and lastly, the Perseverance rover with its friend, the Helicopter Ingenuity. Now that you have completed all these tasks, you can return to Earth in 9,999 years.